Hello Warriors of Universe 7. Welcome to the Dragonverse Stories channel. In a previous video I talked about the return of the Dragon Ball anime which we now know is called, Dragon Ball Daima and it will try to bring us a new adventure where Goku will be transformed into a child just like what happened in Dragon Ball GT. However, unlike the events of the Dragon Ball GT anime, it will not just be Goku who will become a child again, all of his companions, including the youngest ones like Goten and Trunks, will be transformed into children, in the case of the young sons of Goku and Vegeta, they will be babies again. And as this new saga will take place in a period between the end of Dragon Ball Z and the beginning of Dragon Ball Super, many theories have arisen about this, mainly about the canonization of Dragon Ball GT and who knows the return and canonization of Goku Super Saiyan 4. However, before we talk about that, we first have to understand this confusing Dragon Ball timeline, especially when it comes to Dragon Ball GT. Yes, contrary to what many people believe, Dragon Ball GT is part of the canon of the entire Dragon Ball chronology. Let's get to the facts. Dragon Ball GT is a topic that causes a lot of division in the Dragon Ball community. For a long time, fans were divided on whether we should consider GT canonical or not. But it seems that Shuisha, the manga's publisher, has put an end to this discussion. An official timeline for the franchise was released at an event in 2017, and, to the surprise of many, Dragon Ball GT was there, looking pretty in the timeline. Dragon Ball GT came out in 1996, shortly after the end of the Dragon Ball manga. The anime was a Toei Animation initiative, and although Akira Toriyama was involved in character design, he did not have as active a role in the story. This is why many fans never saw GT as part of the canon. The release of Dragon Ball Super should have cleared up this confusion, right? Not exactly. The Japanese Dragon Ball Tenkechi Budosai Festival was the stage where Shuisha showcased this famous timeline, which includes not only Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z and Dragon Ball Super, but also Dragon Ball GT. This reignited the debate, but apparently Shuisha and Toriyama had already confirmed this in other ways. In 2013, for example, there was an illustrated guidebook called Chosenshu 4, Dragon Ball Super Encyclopedia that also included GT in the canon. Therefore, this is not exactly new, but a reinforcement of a point that many fans refuse to accept. So why all this reluctance to accept GT as canon? One of the reasons is that GT is the not-so-loved relative of the Dragon Ball family. It made some bold changes to characters we love and introduced others that weren't very well received, just like what's happening with Dragon Ball Daima. But here's an important detail, Toriyama himself has said that he considers GT a minor part of Dragon Ball's story. Furthermore, he was involved in several stages of the anime's production. But the icing on the cake is the concept of parallel universes, which was introduced in Dragon Ball Super. Super Saiyan 4, for example, appears in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, a manga that explores these alternative realities. So perhaps the best way to approach this is to think of Dragon Ball GT as an alternate reality within the franchise's canon. Unless Toriyama or Shuisha says otherwise, Dragon Ball GT is as canon as any other part of the series. To conclude, in my view, the best way for this to happen is precisely with Dragon Ball Daima, because this way, we can have the much-loved Goku Super Saiyan 4, evil dragons among other things that were very interesting in Dragon Ball GT finally being accepted by the general public. Leave your opinion in the comments. See you in the next video. Until next time, everyone.